Hey guys, this is Kirsten. I'm just going to show you how I import pictures uh, through Bridge. Um, this is actually my next photo shoot, but anyway. Okay, so I open up Bridge, which is this. I click on File, Get Photos from Camera. My memory card is already in. Um, it might look like this at first, but click Advanced Dialog, so it should look like this. Okay, then where you're getting photos from, my memory card is in the G slot. Oh, 835 pictures. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff on this memory card. This is actually my daughter's project for school. Um, what I do is I uncheck all and then click on the first one that I want and then I hold down the shift key to the end and then check only the ones that I'm wanting to import. Okay, so that's for the left side. For the right side, this is where you're going to save the images. So you know that nothing actually lives in Bridge or lives in Photoshop, it lives in uh, Lightroom. That's just where you view them. They actually live somewhere else. Mine live on an external hard drive. Some people's live on their, on their tower or live somewhere else. <clears throat> okay. So what I do is, um, you don't have to hit browse every time because mine's already, it remembers where you were the time before, but for setting it up. So with mine, I click on my external hard drive. I made a new folder for 2019. So I'm just going to click on 2019 and hit select folder. So now right here up at the top, it says 2019. Then I'm going to create a subfolder. My subfolder I call the client's name, uh, just so I can go back, you know. So at the end of the year, I have one folder that says, you know, 2018, and then I have, you know, 100 subfolders of all my different clients or schools or dance studio, whatnot. Then this is where I take the opportunity to rename all my files. So I have a custom name plus the, the date of the shoot, month, day, year, which does automatically. So like I'll just do school project and then I always start at number one. Okay, then um, I just click here that when they're done importing, they just open up and bridge automatically. Um, but that doesn't really matter. And then metadata, um, you can set up to have it um, be like your business name and whatnot. Um, let's see. Don't ever delete upon importing because if it doesn't import properly, you're fucked. Let's see. And then hit get media. I'm not going to do that because I already did all these things. So I'm just going to cancel out. Okay. So then let's just say hypothetically, you go over here, you open up, um, you know, your computer, my external hard drive is my L uh, 2019. And then, you know, here are the, um, what would I just do? There we go. Um, and then here are uh, your pictures. Now, if you work in Lightroom, this doesn't matter. Bridge literally doesn't matter. Bridge is just for viewing. You don't really do much more, I call, um, I call in bridge. So you can like, you know, delete, keep, save, star, whatnot. Now, if you don't use bridge, let's get out of here. That's totally fine. Oh, this is Photoshop. Get out of there. Okay, so now we are in Lightroom. Let me click on the library. Ooh, hello. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Now, in the library, what I did now, so all these folders over here, these are just viewing where the folders are at, where they live on your external hard drive or whatnot. These folders don't actually live in Lightroom, okay? So this is important to know. So when you open up Lightroom, you click import. Oh my gosh, Beth, I hope I didn't give away the ending to you. Oops. 
get rid of that. Okay, um, so you hit import, and then where you imported them, which was my external hard drive, uh, my 2019 folder. This was the girl's name. Um, it's grayed out because you can see I already imported them, so just ignore that. And then hit import. Okay, if Beth's comments are recording, then you all know the ending to you. Okay, um, so let's go to this girl's folder. Boom, now this, now they're um, from where they live. Now they're in to bridge. And now you can just go carry on, um, carry on as planned, right? So you just, um, you know, open the picture. I double clicked by mistake. Um, and then, you know, you carry on as you do. And then it saves, you know, it saves where it saves. It doesn't save in Lightroom. It saves on your folder in your external hard drive. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. I just do it that way because it's super easy and quick. And then it's the same every single time. So, all right, make it happen. Bye ladies.